टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्टिकल साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ साइल यूजिंग सी वन एनालिसिस बाय ए एस टी एम डी सिक्स नाइन वन थ्री अकॉर्डिंग टू डी सिक्स नाइन वन थ्री वी विल डिस्कस द पार्टिकल साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्कोप ऑफ टेस्ट वट इज द स्कोप ऑफ द टेस्ट नॉर्मली साइल कंसिस्ट ऑफ पार्टिकल विद वेरियस शेप एंड साइजेज दिस टेस्ट मैसेड विल बी यूज टू सेपरेट द पार्टिकल साइज इन टू साइजेज रेंजेज एंड डिटरमाइन द क्वान्टिटेटिवली द मैथ ऑफ पार्टिकल इन ईच रेंज आल्सो दिस मैथड यूज एज अ स्पेयर ओपनिंग सीव क्राइटेरियन इन डिटरमाइनिंग द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ द साइल बिटवीन थ्री इंच और सेवेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर टू नंबर टू हंड्रेड और सेवेंटी फाइव माइक्रोमीटर सीव सेट method of test as per ASTM there are normally two methods used as per ASTM D6913 method A and method B method A normally used for the composite sieving in which we will use the nest of sieve for sieve analysis while method B is used for a single sieve set when we have to perform the sieve analysis by single sieving method सैंपल प्रोसेसिंग नॉर्मली देर आर थ्री प्रोसीजर फॉर सैम्पलिंग मोस्ट एयर ड्राई एंड ओवन ड्राई आर प्रोवाइडेड टू प्रोसेस द सैंपल प्रोसीजर सिलेक्टेड विल डिपेंड अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ सैंपल नॉर्मली इफ द एज पर ए एस टी एम रेफर्स द प्रोसीजर फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द सैंपल दैन द प्रोसीजर मे बी स्पेसिफाइड बाई द रिक्वेस्टिंग अथॉरिटी as per subsection 10 of ASTM D6913 set of sieve used in this test method will be 3 inch 2 inch alternatively the sizes are in mentioned in millimeters up to 200 or 75 micrometer first at the start of the sieve set lid will become and at the bottom pan will be covered for accumulation of the soil sample significance and use what is the significance and use of the ASTM D6913 or soil size distribution normally this test method is used for the classification purpose as per ASTM D248 then particle size distribution curve is used to calculate the coefficient of uniformity cu and coefficient of curvature cc for various purposes then selection and acceptance of fill material used for different purposes for example highway embankment backfills earthen dams may have gradation requirement for this purpose this test method can be performed also gradation of soil often control design and quality control of drainage filter and ground water drainage in case of embankment or dam selection of option of dynamic compaction and grouting related to the gradation of soil gradation of soil also require for engineering properties such as hydraulic conductivity or permeability compressibility shear strength and to know the behavior of the soil for various purposes mechanical sieve shaker and standard shaking period required for sieve analysis normally if we have using the composite sieve set method a we will use the mechanical sieve shaker for this purpose the shaking period is normally 10 to 20 minute we have to calculate the ratio of the material to pan then shaking period will be 10 time if the ratio of the material is less than 5% if the ratio of exceeded 0.5 then using 15 minute shaking period normally 12 to 20 minute is enough for our case we will use 10 minute shaking period that much will be enough for saving of the composite sieve hand saving if we use 
single method single sieve set method then we can use hand sieving method for this procedure normally 200 or 18 inch diameter sieve will hold individually with lid and pan and slightly inclined inclined about 15% position for the shaking period the larger diameter if the sieve have the larger diameter more than 200 then in the appropriate portion of as per ASTM section 11.3 follow instruction will be follow, followed sampling and sample source when we have to collect the sample we have to take care how we can collect the soil sample from the site for this purpose ASTM D4220 group B will be used sampling source for sieve analysis can be ranged different types normally large bucket large samples small bags jar or any of materials required minimum mass of the soil sample for sieve analysis is normally 300 gram and the maximum soil sample required for sieve analysis should be 500 gram now we will go for procedure how we can perform this test on the sieve shaker and how we can calculate the materials required today we will perform the sieve analysis test on a soil sample as per ASTM D6913 for this purpose the apparatus will require a weight balance having the least count 0.01 gram set of sieves sieve brush and soil sample as well as sieve shaker will also use for the purpose of shaking first of all we have to take the soil sample minimum 500 gram we will wait on the weight balance 500 soil sample has been taken after taking the soil sample we will place all the soil in the nest of sieve as per ASTM D6913 this is our sieve set and we will pour all the soil samples on the sieve set these are this is our sieve set number 4 number 10 number 20 number 40 number 60 number 100 number 200 and then pan after arranging the sieve set we will start the sieve shaker and turn it on for the period of 10 times as per ASTM for fine soil the time period required 10 to 20 minutes for this purpose we will start our sieve shaker for 10 minutes this is the arrangement of the sieve shaker and 10 minute time period is showing now we will start the sieve shaker for a period of 10 minutes and after that we will measure the weight retained on individual sieve. Now as you can see sieve shaker is running for the period of 10 minutes. After 10 minute completion we will again take the soil sample that is retained on number required number of sieve set. After completing the test, we will take a pot on the weight balance and turn it zero by using a tear button. And then we will and then we will measure the 
individual weight retained on each sieve. The materials tucked in the sieve will be turned down and placed into the our required material with the help of sieve brush as it is now all the material have been poured down to the pan same as all the sieve material will be taken into count as it is number 10 sieve after that number 20 and so on we will tear it again and pour all the material into the pan the material stuck in the sieve will be also poured down to the pan with the help of wire mesh wire brush